Good morning, welcome, welcome everybody, welcome to my channel, my name is Chrissy, and today I'm going to be giving you a prediction reading for the 30th of January, yes, um, the year has started off with a bang, I don't think we could deny that guys, there's been a lot going on globally and continues to in 2024, um, welcome, welcome anyone that's new, um, please consider subscribing, that'd be great to have you here on our little channel, we've built a little community here of like-minded people, um, we let each other know what's going on around the world because often we don't get it on mainstream media. I think we could all agree with that, that mm, the tell -I vision only tells us what they want to. Um, hit those like buttons, guys, you know the drill, and comment down below. Takes me a day or two, sometimes get back to you, so be patient. And sometimes YouTube takes my comments and brings them back at a later date, so that has happened here before. Um, I think that's all I've got for you today, guys. I've got a tiny bit of admin, not very much. Um, I'll leave a video on my Facebook page, Chrissy Fitzgerald, Psychic Life Coach. If anyone wants to watch a few funny videos, I, po I post a few things over there and a few pictures. Um, uh, elbow being booed at the Australian Open Tennis. Uh, did you guys see it? Oh my gosh. It was a unanimous booing. They introduced him and it was just boo. The whole crowd erupted and in an arena like that, I'm guessing it sounded pretty loud. My sister actually went to the tennis, so when I talk to her next, I'm going to ask her how it was and how it sounded. <laughs> she would have been there, so I can get it firsthand, guys. Oh, he just laughed it off and said, oh, that's a tradition that people boo at the Prime Minister or something. You know, elbow, what he's like. And the other thing really is the Royal Kardashians. I think they're all recovering nicely. Kate home i think and i think charles is still in hospital isn't he i don't know you'll be hearing more about that in the uk i'm sure it'll filter down to us in oz eventually but apparently they're doing very well which is nice to hear about the royal kardashians going so well still keeping on the global stage of course and keeping important but for different reasons <laughs> who knows anyway uh enough of the admin let's get straight into the reading guys and see what comes up Oh, I'm just getting it again. The tide is turning. The tide is turning. <coughs> um, this is the awakening. It's going back towards government now. See, for four years, I think we could say it's been four years, really, because it all began in 2019, really, when in the first hmm, little bit of the agenda red carpet got rolled out. And it's been pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing the little people in a certain direction well, now people are, the tide is turning and starting to mm, sort of, oh, I would say that the word is push towards government. They're pushing their government back. It's good. Um, we have all been talking in the last couple of weeks about all these protests. And like I say to you guys, it doesn't matter what the protest is. It doesn't matter if it's Palestine, pro-Palestine, Israel protest. It doesn't matter if it's about cost of living protests it doesn't matter if it's about well gender that's another one that we see there's protests for so many things oh we've even had yes like i said <coughs> excuse me guys i still got to go oh, of course i have the the virus the never-ending virus um <clears throat> the neo-nazi protests that i've been telling you about down here in oz oh yes and on australia day we had the invasion day protest um Aboriginal, Indigenous people coming together and protesting Australia Day. Like, what? I don't even know what's happening in this world. All caused by our governments, of course. So any protest, guys, is good. So I always see a protest as positive. Oh, and not to forget, well, you know, the farmers that have been standing up, Germany, France, well, Netherlands originally kicked that off way back. But, you know... German farmers stood up, France farmers are standing up, and there's others across Europe, I think, that are standing up as well. It's brilliant. So let's look at these things as positive because the tide is turning. This is the year of the, well, kind of the giant shift. We're vibrating to a new earth. Um, things are changing. The vibrational frequency of the earth is changing. Uh, um, so these things are positive. All right. And the guides are saying if we were to put heart monitors on people. Oh, remember I told you they got the new COVID finger heart monitor. The finger heart monitor now. We could all get one of those probably. It's called the COVID heart monitor. Um, if we were to put a heart monitor on ourselves, 
Um, it's saying everybody's hearts are like softening and slowing down. There's this softening of the heart. Um, see, that's that's the thing. The awakening process is about starting to deal with your emotions. I know I repeat myself a lot here, but I have a lot of new viewers, guys, and sometimes we have to just fill in the gaps a bit. But sometimes it's important to get those messages recurring too over and over. No, I'm not doing mass psychosis. I'm just reiterating some things that are happening um the hearts are softening meaning we're having to get back in our feeling place we're moving from our head thinking well people are this is what's happening with people waking up probably not you guys on my channel because i think you've already gone through your awakening if you found me and vibrated here to my little our little rather not mine that's my channel but our little community um of people who have woken up then you're awake you've gone through your process of change which is the caterpillar emerging into the butterfly we call it shedding your old snake skins same sort of thing you keep emerging growing and evolving spiritually because we're being told here now we're all doing the spiritual master's degree this year um and moving to the higher levels um which is shedding your old emotions because these are the things that make people's hearts hard if people have been hurt people have gone through grief people have had challenging times in their life it hardens their heart so what's happening now is and people what happens sorry getting back to they um start living from their head so they start living more from their logical mind and their it, it's it's a different way it's we're just moving into a different way of feeling so the heart starts to soften um this is the image i'm getting when people shed their we call it the backpack of burdens meaning all their past hurts, pains, things that have happened to them, when people drop that backpack, drop it to the ground, um, we, we refer to it like one of those, is it a Bergen they call in the army when you run with all your tent and everything on your back? Um, I think it's a Bergen. It, it's the same sort of thing. You know, it starts as a little backpack and then it builds up into this big, like, army Bergen that's loaded up with all this stuff. Well, you have to, when you awaken, and many things can cause you to awaken too, um, you drop it, you drop, you drop it, you leave it behind. You don't carry it anymore. That's why a lot of us here on this channel, we talk about feeling m m more free, more flowing. Um, we see the world very differently through a very different lens. Everything's crystal clear. Everything sounds different. Um, we're more in tune with nature. We, we, um, we just, and, and also, I would say that we feel a lot of pain relief in our bodies um, physically and I would say mentally as well. If anyone needs any videos on, you know, mental health and things like that, I've got tons of videos on my channel too on self-help, guys, how to move forward when you're stuck or you're going through any of this dark nights of soul, this kind of thing as well. So go check some of those out if you're interested. Um, so this is what is happening the heart is softening the heart space is softening and and when you think about it if your heart we talk about here when you're in a resistant when you're resistant and you're not flowing you're contracted your body's very contracted you know it's like my neck spasms we could use that as an example um my neck has been as the acupuncturist actually i'm heading off to the acupuncturist in a minute guys i'm heading to canberra again for another session when muscles have been spasming like that and like mine got so tight in the end I couldn't even I felt like I'd been squashed by like a brick on my head like this um and a lot of you had noticed that my head tilted to the left I think it was um I can move it a lot more spasming a lot today though up here um so I'm, I'll be glad to get to her because my she's working on the muscle memory so my muscles used to being contracted same with the heart it's like you think of all the muscles around the heart when it's contracted your part's not pumping and this is not totally what's going on in your body but this is just um an example of how we're softening up the heart um it's contracted with these tight muscles everything's tight you're contracted you're sort of curled up um you're tight all the time this this is how people have been thinking they overload their brain and it physically contracts their body but when you start to flow all your muscles relax, you know, the same with my neck. Um, you, you know, it'll start to be more flexible. Well, that's what's happening with the heart. You think of the heart, you know, when it's the muscles relax and that starts to pump more blood. And that's what the acupuncture actually does. 
it, it gets the blood flowing and the oxygen to the muscles. Apparently that's what they taught that's what she taught me. But this gets more blood and everything pumping. So all throughout your body, your heart's pumping much stronger and better. So this is kind of the energy frequency. That's not exactly, you know, what's happening, but this is kind of the concept of oh, when you relieve those pains, hurts, all these angst and anxieties and fears and all that, you you flow better. Your, your blood's pumping around your body better. You know, a lot of us here are having to heal ourselves. Um, we A lot of us got to a certain point and then we felt a bit stuck. We had a lot of aches, pains, physical ailments in our bodies and we're still having to move through them because that's what the masterclass of spirituality is about. It's about continuing to heal yourself. And, and I think that'll probably continue, guys, till the day we die, to be quite honest. That's just my opinion. Um, because I don't think you ever really do you stop learning and growing. You don't. Cheers, everyone. I've got a cup of tea this morning. All <laughs> right. So we've got better blood flow, better circulation, um, a clearer thinking mind. We do that spiritual decluttering that Catherine taught us here. Um, we do the spiritual decluttering. We declutter our lives. You know, very. I would say very few of us live in clutter. Um, you know, the things that we do invest in, we love and they make us feel good. Um, all right, let's keep going. I am getting the Netherland farmers have achieved a huge goal. We know they had a bit of a win over there. It was really, really, um, excellent. And it did send a frequency vibration out, see, but I feel there's even more wins to come in the Netherlands. It's quite positive over there. You guys are very, very strong in your, um, well, it's saying to me in your support for each other. I feel like you guys support each other. And that's, I'm also getting that for Germany too. When I said the German farmers stood up, people came behind them. Well, it was the little people peasants and Lego people that really put their support behind the farmers. And I'd say that's happened in the Netherlands. But I feel like you're going to have some other wins in the Netherlands. Um, it's not, it, the farmers' protest isn't the end of this. There's more to come. There's more to come in the Netherlands. So keep an eye out, guys. It might be protests. Oh, it could be climate change. <laughs> or is it, what do, I watched a bit of a Carl Vernon one and he calls it, um, what do they call it? Boil, boiling, boiling, boil warming or something like that now. It's even gone beyond beyond global warming. It's boiling now. Oh, my God. They feed people anything, don't they, guys? All right. Oh, God, she knows. This virus, does it ever finish, guys? It's a never-ending virus. We know it's the immortal CV virus. It goes around and around. But it seems to stay in your system for months. Um, okay. <coughs> Oh, hang on a minute. I'm getting this image. Oh, this can't be true. I'm getting a picture of Australia leading the, char leading the charge. Oh, hang on. What's going on here? This can't be right. I always tell you how the gutless wonders down here. Hang on. No, they are. They're showing me Mel Gibson, the brave heart, freedom fighter, maverick rebel, on his horse with his sword. And... Australia's leading the charge in in one of these fight backs. Hang on, let me see what I get. Oh, that's interesting. I'm kind of getting this conscription thing. We know it's going to come to Australia. We talked about that. It was UK, Australia, and there was somewhere else they mentioned. I'll probably be New Zealand, I'd say. Um, people won't want it. People will not want it. Or oh, maybe we're going to lead the charge and fight against it. <laughs> maybe we're just going to call out the BS that it actually is. Oh, for some reason I'm getting... Oh, that'd be a miracle. If Australia stood up, guys, I wouldn't even believe my own eyes, like I said to you the other day. Because the same people, the same thousands and thousands of freedom fighters that fight for everything. And we're all worn out. We don't have to do it anymore, like the guides keep saying. It's not our turn. Other people have to... Take charge of the battle now. But I am getting that for Australia. Mm. It could even be, you know, it could even be, it could even be that 
elbows popularity as we know is really well i wouldn't even say <coughs> i wouldn't even say it's dying a slow death i'd say it's already dead um i, I think elbows <clears throat> mm, and this is just an analogy i think your elbow's already been put in a coffin by the little people peasants and lego people i think he's already gone as in not dead but as in just his parliamentary like prime minister skills are pretty ordinary and i'd say people are leading the charge with well i'm just getting ousting elbow i don't see him being there i'll give him six months that's what i'm gonna give him six months because he's he's just too, done too much damage here you know you talk to anyone you think what's what has elbow done for this country other than lie to us he has lied i told you yesterday lied and lied and lied to the point that no one trusts him anymore so i'm giving him about six months guys i think he's already dead to the people you know like people don't if he comes on TV, I reckon people turn it off. I reckon people don't listen to him. People have no respect for him. Um, so you've got to earn that trust, respect. Um, and it's just not being earned. I mean, people have, people know every single word, blah, 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 that comes out of his mouth is rubbish. Oh, we knew it was rubbish before they even voted him in. I don't know why anyone voted him in. So I am seeing that, that he's dead too many, dead too many. Just an analogy. He's not literally. I don't wish that on anybody. But to the people, it's time for him to go. That's what I'm getting. Oh, it's like another Joe Biden thing, isn't it? It's time for them to go. If only we could get rid of the rest of these global bloody Muppets and we'd be right. Uh, all right, see if there's one more thing. We'll pull some cards, guys. I keep getting it. I have to say, England's rising. UK's rising. You're going to rise over there. Oh, thanks, Chris. You were telling me about your Euler's um, Blade Runners. They're still going over there. It's so brilliant. They're putting stickers, you were telling me, on the cameras. <laughs> I love it. <coughs> <coughs> and how hard it would be to peel the stickers off. It's bloody brilliant. What a brilliant idea that is. Just keep putting stickers over it. <laughs> oh, I love it. What did they think all these global elites would just stand by and just go, yeah, put the cameras up. That's a great idea. You know, track us, trace us, charge us more costs and taxes and fees. And, yep, that's a great idea. We're going to go right along with that. Like, okay, so start collecting your stickers, guys, for all the cameras. <laughs> but wear, you'll have to wear your dark, like, balaclava stuff, like the, the neo-Nazi uniform here down in Melbourne. Oh, my God. So you don't get identified. Um, all right, enough of, uh, I don't even know what. How crazy has Clown Show 2.0 been though, guys? We've hit the ground running. I knew there was going to be a lot of stuff happening and the guides did try to prepare us that we weren't going to even be disturbed by some of this stuff. But it's completely mad. We cannot even believe what is going on, can we, guys? Some of this stuff is absolutely not even believable is the word that comes to mind for me. Not even believable. Um, okay, let's pull an affirmation card, guys. <laughs> oh, but at least we do have lots to laugh at, guys. We have to look at the the positives. There's plenty of entertainment, things to laugh at. Um, you know, and just gets funnier and funnier. It really does. It's the only way you can get through it, isn't it? Empower. There's space for you, there's space for me, there's space for all. Let us empower each other. Oh, and look, it's the lotus. Empower. And that's by helping propping each other up too. We do that a lot here, don't we, guys? We try and prop each other up, keep each other strong. If one of us is having a downer, we try to keep each other motivated and going. It does help. It helps a lot. When you feel isolated or you feel like you're struggling a bit, um, sometimes it's nice um, when we just chat to each other here because pretty much we are on the same page, aren't we, guys, in our thought processes here on this channel? 
And we do try and empower other people. Even the people waking up, you know, we're all becoming better listeners. We're sort of listening to them when they're saying something. We're not overwhelming and bombarding people, you know. We're trying to empower these people to continue to wake up. Let's pull a Whispering Woods. You know how much I love these Whispering Woods cards. They're just so cute, aren't they? How's us being the little mushrooms and lichen the other day? <laughs> it's funny. All right. Oh, caution. Tread softly so as not to disturb the woodland floor. We had that the other week. In other words, just, you know, tiptoe through the tulips. Um, don't ruffle anybody's feathers. Just just don't disturb things, you know. Just continue being you. We don't we don't have to protest anymore. We don't have to do all those things. They're not our battles anymore, guys. They really aren't. So tread softly. And and again, that's going with the flow, really, isn't it? Not to disturb the woodland floor. Hmm, very interesting. Very interesting. Okay, I'm going to open up at a bee here now from my beautiful book. Um, let's see what we get. Ah. Oh, alone and together. Oh, look. Two beautiful parrots. I've been actually buying bird feeders. And these lorikeets, parrots or whatever they are, um, they absolutely love the sunflowers. I have to get the ones with the sunflowers because I absolutely love them. Oh, I love seeing birds. There you go. Alone and together. I'm going to read you a little bit. It is very natural that we exist alone and together, respecting our need for connection as much as our need for quietude. That's a great word, quietude, and solitude in this life. While it may be compelling to define ourselves as introverts or extroverts, the truth is that we all possess both inclinations. Inclinations that come to the fore for us contextually. Certain moods, reasons, circumstances, or seasons call us within to be with ourselves to quieten down, reflect, hear our inner voice and notice the spaciousness and freedom of a nurtured inner world. Other moments call us to reach out to one another, talking, playing, singing, dancing, oh, singing, oh, my poor singing, you poor guys, dancing and having fun in harmony. All parts of ourselves must be welcome. All parts of ourselves belong to our whole selves. Flexibility and loving acceptance of ourselves as we constantly move, grow and change Gives us a balanced life, a rich life, save it alone and together. Oh, that's beautiful. And see, that is us. We love our alone time. We love our homes or our haven. We love going bushwalking. We do a lot of things on our own. We're very comfortable here on this channel with our own company. But we like to be together with like-minded people. You know, I've got my girlfriend, Sandy. She's awake as well. And we can talk about so many things. You and I here on this channel, all you guys out there, we share little things. You know, we can have a giggle about everything that's going on. You know, it's beautiful. Um, and you guys share music with me too. You know, I give you a few songs, like things that we can feel and take us back to memories and things like this. So we sort of do do as weird as it is. And as as you often say, Lou, you know, we're, we're oceans apart, aren't we all? But it's like we really know each other. Like, I don't even know what you guys look like, half of you. Um, well, most of, I don't know, only one of, one of you. I only know you, Jen. Um, you're the only one I know what you look like. So, you know, but, but we have this vibrational, null frequency connection. And, and that's what happens when you wake up. You know, we talk about the senses opening up, um, vibrating different people into your life. That's what it's about. Alone and together. It's beautiful, isn't it? Um, okay, let's see if there's anything else to finish off with today. Oh, I'm getting that song by Fleetwood Mac, Big Love. Big, big love. Oh, oh, oh. And you sat on your house. All alone on a hill, big, big love. Oh, I can't. I'm trying to get the tune, guys. But anyway, look it up. Fleetwood Mac, Big Love. Oh, I love that song. It's so good. All right, hang on. Oh, that's, I've got, I can't get to the next song until I give you the song that the guides are giving me, guys. You know how it goes. They drop it in and they just keep repeating it. So I have to give that song for Captain Tennille. Love, love, 
Love will keep us together. Think of me, babe, whenever. Um, I'm sure it's Captain Engineer. Love will keep us together. Will keep us together. Whatever. Bo -bo -do whatever. Um, and also, um, oh, I'm going to have to leave you with that theme song from Titanic. Who was it talking to me about the Titanic synchronicities yesterday? Sorry, guys. Oh, look, I, I write back to so many of you, and I hate to get you mixed up. Um, I'm pretty sure it was Pauline, wasn't it? Um, I'm positive it was you, Pauline. Um, about the Titanic synchronicities. Well, I'm going to leave you with that song today. Um, after we were talking about my daughter's fob watch, one of you who had been having Titanic synchronicity. Synchronicity is fantastic. Always look at synchronicity as positive, guys, because it's signs and it's it's good confirmation that you're in a good frequency of vibration and you're on your right path. They're guideposts, guys. Guideposts. They're magical droplets from the universe is how I see synchronicity. Um what is that song? The Heart Will Go On. That's it by Celine Dion. Where they're um oh that's such a I love that movie, Titanic. I really do. I, I have a lot of curiosity around the Titanic as well, guys. So I'm gonna leave you with that. The heart will go on. Um meaning, you know, this is the year of the heart's awakening, the heart pumping, you know. Things are changing. People are going from their thinking space into their feeling place now. So I'm going to leave you with all those lovely love songs today. Um, oh, very nice. All right, I'm going to leave you with that today. Take care, everyone. I'm off to the acupuncturist to get a few pinpricks. <laughs> not, not the jab wheel pinpricks, but the ancient Chinese medicine ones. <laughs> And it is really working, guys, I have to say. I thoroughly recommend it. Make sure you guys keep healing too. Keep doing whatever you can to move through your aches, pains, and ailments, guys. It's important because it's through old memories, contractions, restrictions in our bodies that we have to keep opening up and keep helping us to go with the flow, like the boat with the sails up going down the stream, <laughs> down the river. All right, take care, everyone. Have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you soon. Don't forget, like buttons. Please comment and subscribe. It would be lovely to have you here with our little community of terribillions we call ourselves. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful day. Bye.